For the longest time in Hard Eyes Golem, I was just struggling and I couldn't do it. I was using Cronum to do stage 1 of Hard Eyes Golem and that was just about it, but I couldn't get the gear on him to make him do stage 10. Until I pulled Alatreon Blademaster. Well, I guess I, you could say I, I didn't pull him, but I worked hard and spent money to get him. But now we're doing Hard Ice Golem Stage 10. If you haven't seen the video, I will share it down below and you guys can see the progression jumping from Hard 1 all the way to Hard 10. But this is the team here. Thank you for 687 subs. Alatreon opens with the A2. Round 2 opening with the A2. Round 3 still the A2. His shield ability is the most important thing here. He is going at 263 speed. Now remember, we have him in the lead, and he actually has a 30% boost to speed for his entire team when we're in the dungeon. So his true speed is going to be something closer to like 293. And I think I have masteries on him that make him a little faster, but I can't actually remember quite yet. Brogni is going to be doing his A3. His A3, again, actually forgot to put this here. Whoops. Actually, it doesn't matter because Brogni doesn't, isn't going to go before um, Seer does. Now... I have to remind you guys, I don't have this team perfectly speed tuned and the champions that I have in here haven't been, well specifically Brogni and Artak, they haven't been fine tuned quite yet. Like Brogni is in, in an old build and Alatran just got built so this is my first initial build with him. And Seer, we're going to do A3, A3, then close out the A3. We don't want to nuke down too hard because then the Hard Ice Golem is going to react to that and hit us even harder possibly killing us because he smacks super hard yumiko is going to start off with her a2 it doesn't really matter if she starts with her a2 or not i just put it out there we're going to close out her a3 so that when she comes into round two she opens up with her a3 and round three she can do whatever she wants our tech does whatever he wants except for going into round two the way that his speed is set up i just have him like this and then we have him opening with the decrease attack first and then the HP burn. Now, decrease attack is pretty huge going up against the hard ice golem, especially hard 10, because the hard ice golem hits extremely hard. Now we have shields up coming from Alatreon and from Brogni, but sometimes in the off chances, because again, this is my first initial team, just a blueprint team, I'm at the very least doing stage 10 of the hard ice golem and that's more than i was doing before but let's go ahead and show you guys the run real quick we start out by doing our wave clearing we're going to place a few buffs but because again this is not completely speed tuned the buffs aren't there there aren't enough buffs for seer to use to do the most damage and because of that wave clearing isn't as fast or as efficient as it possibly could be so we're just going to go through the waves here and then we move into the second round where we will reset our skills and rinse and repeat. I could turn off Alatreon's A3, so we're not using that the second time around. Like, let him use it first and then close it out. And then it's just a matter of clearing through the waves again. Could easily shave off about a minute once I figure out how to properly clear through the waves if you guys have any suggestions for a potential better team please let me know maybe give me some advice i'd love to learn from you guys from the community and then we come here to the hard ice golem now the three main champions that we need to be alive is going to be are going to be alatreon artak and brogni it's okay if yuma goes here i don't mind her here um seer could die though we, we don't really want seer around she's done her job and we basically just want to have artak place all the burns alatreon to keep the cleanses and block buffs up block debuffs up and to keep the shields up and that's the most important thing again the hard ice golem is hitting pretty hard so if we can get the decrease attack on then that would be ideal but again artak i was sleeping on artak i have him in a build that's outdated like he's okay uh but i mean i could check out his build after this real quick but like he's just not he doesn't have enough accuracy i think that's why he's not landing his uh, decrease attack quite often everybody was talking about how great 
Artak was, but I was sleeping on him for the longest time and I, I couldn't tell you why. But he's doing a better job than Cronum is. So we're taking enough turns to keep the shields up. The other thing is Brogni is also here with his shields and his passive is that he will reflect a portion of the damage being dealt to the shields back to the attacker. He also grows the shields so we can have bigger shields. Fatal or not Fatalis, Alatreon comes in with the cleanse and the block buffs, which is extremely handy, especially if we want to live and heal through our damage. The other nice thing about Alatreon is that he's able to extend the buffs on our team. Like, it's just insane to be honest, because I I'm a little like up here with it, just because you know this is one of these are one of the stages for stage 10. There are these are this was one of the dungeons that I couldn't do for the longest time. And now I'm doing it all thanks to Alatreon. And Artek. Because I was trying Cronum, but Cronum wasn't doing it yet. I don't have the best gear on him quite yet. And the other thing was because Cronum requires Jamarsa to be here, um, that meant like one champion wasn't gonna be able to fit in. But yeah. Not the fastest run, but I'm just happy that it's getting done. You know what I mean? Staying alive with our shields. HP burns doing all the damage. And that brimstone's about to proc. Or not. I don't know why the brimstone didn't proc. Does that ever happen with you guys? Sometimes the brimstone just disappears. Like it looks like it's about to pop off and it just doesn't. There we go. Nice and steady. And soul reap. So there it is. I can go ahead and show you guys Underpriest Brogni is in bolster. Um, you know, his he's not in the best setup because I used to have him in Savage Gear. I had him built out for Hydra. And so his masteries reflect that as well. So don't copy this. This is outdated. And where's Artak? This is my Artak. He's got no masteries. He is booked because I booked him out for CVC. He's got Brimstone on him. He's in Perception. Yeah, just double perception. Here are the pieces of gear on him. Accuracy. Like, I, I don't even use this guy. He's got 3,300 3, defense, 238 speed. That seems a little low, and only 550 accuracy. 550 accuracy seems decent, but I think a, I, I was still getting resistant. So I think I need to put more accuracy on him. 100% chance to place decrease attack, that's a huge thing, and then the HP burns. But let's say you can't do hard 10 yet, you can always drop stages, even do something like hard 6. If you don't have these champions, again, this is still something to work towards, and you could eventually get there. But if you want to see how Alatran is built, go ahead and check out this video.